Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today I will be touring the island of Tea Flower by my good friend Sammy. Tea Flower is a beautiful forest core island. Uh, she has made it absolutely stunning. The terraforming here is so good. Sammy also has her own YouTube channel, and I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. Hopefully you guys go and follow her after seeing her island. She makes beautiful things here in Animal Crossing. So if you're still into Animal Crossing, if you're an Animal Crossing stan like I am, you're definitely going to go want to follow my friend here. Shep really, really wanted to be in this intro. He really did. We're going to avoid the beaches because the beaches were not done, but I did come back with a wide angle camera because it took me about five minutes to get out of resident services when I landed in the dream address. So um, that being said, I turned collision off because I don't want to get stuck and spend three hours here trying to get help. So um, here we are. This is Tent Blathers. Look at how cute it is. I love the foresty vibes here and the color palette is beautiful. The orange, green, and white palette is stunning. Look at how pretty this is. I love it. Oh, there's arrows pointing in two different directions. Which one do you go in when you have arrows pointing in two different directions? You go the opposite of where it tells you to go in both sides. That's where you go. At least if you're me, that's where you go. Look at this view right leading up to resident services. So beautiful. And I guess that was the problem. I tried to go out of resident services through the front and that was not, not going to happen. This is the house that um, she put and the decor around it is absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. I'm not going to go inside the house because I don't believe she decorated it. So we're going to just continue moving right along this way. Like she's so good at terraforming. These scenes are just beautiful. She's got some next level terraforming skills. Her terraforming is leveled up and maxed out, y'all. We're going to continue right along this way. So pretty. This is where the campsite resides. Look at how cute it is. It's so enclosed and beautiful. Oh, I love it. The little blanket coats are so cute. I did have an intervention about using the, the same blanket over and over again, but look at how beautiful it turned out. I love it. I have no regrets. It is gorgeous. Okay, we're going to go back. Because here we are in this beautiful sunken waterfall and this leads us to resident services. But first, can we just appreciate how pretty this is? Look at this. It's stunning. Everything about it is absolutely gorgeous. This just makes me smile. I love it so much. Okay, we're, we'll move on now. Here we are in resident services. This is where you will wake up from your dream address. If you wake up here, don't be like me. Don't try and go forward. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't try and go this way. Because you know why? Because you'll get stuck. You'll get stuck for like five minutes until you hit the minus button and have to get out that way. Behind resident service though, there's some beautiful terraforming here. I'm going to show you the things that I couldn't show you if I wasn't on this switch. Look at how pretty that is. It is beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. And then here we have our little nook's cranny, which has some cute rustic decor here. Very woodsy. I love it. And then apparently you can go into a cave right next to nook's cranny. I don't know what the boys are doing there, but I would maybe not go in the cave. And then we have our able sisters right over here where they're hanging the laundry that just came in or their own laundry. Someone's laundry. They're, they're hanging laundry there. Let's go up the incline next to Nook's Cranny. Oh, how cute. Look at Maple. She's being so cute. We have a little sunken pathway right over there, which is really cute. And then I'm going to just check out this house real quick. We have a villager house right here, and this looks so pretty. I love that so much. Wow. All right, let's continue through this sunken pathway where April can't jump. Here is Maple. She's so cute. I love her. She's perfect on this island. 
There are some good villagers on this island. I did not show you the map. Let me show you the map before it's too late. Okay, so we have Sammy, of course. And then we have Fauna, Silvana, Bonbon, bon, Mac, Maple, Raymond, Callie, Doby, Lucky, and Shep. Some really good villagers here. And check out the terraforming. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Leveled up terraforming. Just so good. Let's go to the right. Because I know there's a villager's house over here, right? There is. There is a villager's house over here. Look at how cute it is. In all of the foresty goodness. It's beautiful. I love that. Okay. They're also doing laundry. It is laundry day on the island. And then we're going to head over here. We've got Sammy hanging out by a cave. Don't follow Sammy into the cave. You don't know what she's up to. She might get you stuck there. And then we have a cute little fishing spot on the back beach over here. It's also trash day. That seems to be a recurring theme. Trash day on the islands. I always seem to visit on trash day. Look at Sammy. She Her little outfit is so cute though. I love that. And here we have another villager house. Uh, so cute. I love this custom code right here with the little bag in front. That's adorable. And they just got in from riding bikes because that's a valid pastime. It's a good way to spend your time. And we have Raymond's house over here. I just know Raymond's house really well and she didn't redo the houses. So Raymond lives right over there. And look at how pretty his house is. I love all of the trees on this island. It is definitely tree stuck core. Um, if you will, it is stuck tree core. And here we have, I think this is Fauna's house. And it looks so pretty. And she lives right next to Silvana. If you didn't know, Fauna is Sammy's favorite villager. And Silvana is Nene's Nook's favorite villager. Another one of my mods. So I think it's really cute that they kind of live next to each other. And look at Silvana and how cute she is. We have Lucky and Shep's houses in the background and the beautiful tree line behind the cliffs. Sometimes when I go up in those tree lines because I want to take a picture from up there, I end up seeing things I probably shouldn't see. Like buildings, like whole buildings. But Sammy does not do any of that. She has not hidden any buildings. But we have Lucky up here. I think he's actually stuck up here. And Shep, it's a good thing it's pretty because I, I do believe they are stuck. Okay, so this is the area for Fauna and Silvana. I love this little to-go box and this little area right here. I do love that little cushion on the blanket. That's so cute and inviting. We have this really cute peninsula situation over here. Look at how beautiful that is. So pretty right by the river mouth. It looks so good. Oh, I love that. So over in the front of the island, we do have some more beautiful terraforming and another villager house. This is really beautiful right here. So pretty. Oh, I really love the way Callie's house looks right here. Callie's house is just beautiful for a forest core island. It's one of my favorites in forest core. And I even had her like on a fairy core island. She's just, her house is so pretty just the way it is. And she is just a darling villager. I love her so much. Look at that golden fishing rod. She doesn't fish with a normal fishing rod. She fishes with a golden rod. And it helps her catch fish better. She is a better fisher person than we are. And I like the puddle that it's sitting on too. That's really cool. Okay, I am so sad to say that we are already done seeing this island. It's so beautiful, but all of the scenes are very large. And so it was really easy to go through very, very quickly. I'm so sad that it's done now, but it is a beautiful island. And if you guys would like to see more of it, I will put the dream address down in the description below. Not more of it. I did show you everything, but if you would like to see what it looks like from a regular point of view, then I will put the dream address down in the description below and Sammy's link also down in the description below. Please go and give her a follow. She's absolutely amazing as at this as you can see i hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys for being here i know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for a little bit and i always appreciate that so much i will see you guys all in the next one bye